In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own project logical editor command that will close all of your subfolders while keeping your main section folders open. All right, so let's get started. Head to track visibility agents, then go to project logical editor. We're going to create a command that first of all selects all of our main section folders like so. Now there are a number of different ways we can set this command up. We can tell Cubase to only select folders of a specific color. You could do it by title, but for every single folder name, you will need to create a filter target. So that can get a bit long winded. The easiest way I find is just by adding a symbol in the title at the start or at the end because you can tell Cubase to just search for that symbol. So if you are going to use a symbol, make sure it's not an alphabetical letter because that will just cause problems. Use something that you're not going to use anywhere else in your project. To create this selection command, come over to the project logical editor and create two target filters. The first one change to container type equal to folder track. The second one change from media type to name then change the condition to contains and type in the symbol that you use. Now at the very bottom where it says filter conditions, change from transform to select. When you hit apply, Cubase should select those master folders. If it works, great. We can then save that as a preset by going to save changes as preset. Make sure you name it something appropriate. I'm gonna call my master folder select. Now, while we're here, we're going to create a variation of this and it'll deselect folders. And this will be the command that we use last in the chain. So at the very bottom, go to filter conditions and change this to deselect. And then again, save this as a preset, giving it an appropriate name. This next command will ensure that all of our main section folders are open and displaying the subfolders. And then the final command will make sure that all of the subfolders or any folders that are inside of folders are collapsed. So to create this next one is very straightforward. We just create two target filters. First one change to container type equal to folder track. The second one change to property is set and then is selected. Then at the very bottom, make sure your filter conditions are changed to transform and then add a transform action. Choose track operation, then choose folder, then choose in parameter one open. So now this means it will open up any selected folder tracks like so. Save this as a preset. I'm going to call it master folder open. Now the final preset is going to make sure that all of our subfolders or folders inside of folders are collapsed. To do this, we need to create three target filters. The first one change to container type equal to folder track. The second one change to property is not set is selected. So any tracks that are a folder that are not selected are going to be affected. But we also want to make sure that we include that those folders do not contain the star symbol. So for this final one, change it to name, then contains not, add your symbol in. Now in the transform actions, add a new action, change it to track operation, folder, close. So what will happen now is any folder tracks that are not selected that do not contain the star symbol will be closed like so. Okay, now save this as a preset. YT uh, close all folders or no, close all subfolders, I'll call this. So now we've got those all set up. We can quickly test them in Cubase 13 by using the pre and post commands before creating a macro uh, that we can use to bind to our keys. So I'm gonna remove all this stuff here. In the pre and post commands, I'm just going to type out uh, the very first command, which is the master folder select, followed by master folder open, 
then followed by close all subfolders, then followed by deselect. So that's our four commands and how they're going to be chained together. If I go ahead and collapse these master folders here and hit apply, it should open them like so and we can see these are collapsed. If I also open up these folders and let's find one where I put a subfolder in like so and hit the command again, it should close all of those including the subfolders as you can see. And if we also close some of our master folders as well while having certain folders open and press that command again, it should reset everything again for us. So that all works perfectly. Now, if you are on Cubase 13, you can save this as a command and then just quickly add a keystroke to it instead of creating a macro. But I'll show you how to do it by creating a macro because those of you that are on older versions of Cubase may wonder how to do this. So go to edit, then key commands, and then at the very bottom, if it's not open, open up your macros page, and then create a new macro. Name it something appropriate, so yt close folder view, we'll just call it that for now. And then with your macro selected, come up into the search field at the top and start typing out your um, ple commands that we built and then add them in the same order so the first one is folder select add command then the next one is folder open add that as a command then close all subfolders and then the final one deselect so now that these are all added in a macro we need to then add a keystroke to our master macro here so whatever this is called type out in the search field close folder view and then click and insert your keystroke like so. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the box below. If you haven't found it helpful, give it a thumbs down and again, leave your feedback down below. I'm all ears. Anyway, thanks for your time and I'll see you all in the next video.